What's up everybody, I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today on Cars and Cameras, we are giving our favorite little go-kart some much needed TLC, the Manco Dingo. We have a used but in good shape uh, Tecumseh six horse engine to swap on and some really trick wheels and tires from Go Power Sports we're gonna put on this thing. I'm excited, I can't wait to see it. Yep, and of course we're gonna go for a lap. Right now, it's extra dirty, looking a little rough, this engine has a massive amount of blow by and you can't even ride it without getting completely covered in oil in engine oil. Yeah. So we already have done a baseline lap time. So all we need to do now, swap the engine, do those mods, we can run it again. All right, so this is a Tecumseh six horse. It looks like it's in really good shape, but I have no recollection what it came off of I don't even know if it runs, but I, I'm assuming that it's going to be okay. So we're going to get that off, we're going to take it over, hose it off, bring her back in, and put her together. Oh look, it's Santa Claus! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Check those things out. Oh, that looks sweet. Ooh, they're lightweight too. Yeah. Give me another. They're gnarly. Oh man, this thing's gonna be awesome. Are they like the same size as what's on here? They are a smidget taller. Well, that's okay. That's fine by me. These are all the shiny new parts we have to put on the Dingo. They're from GoPowerSports.com. We have racing wheels with some nice aggressive tires. Uh, they are gorgeous, to say the least. Talk about gorgeous, look at this polished aluminum rim. Yeah, so they should perform very well. And if you ever uh, buy parts from GoPowerSports.com, let them know at checkout that Cars and Cameras sent you to get entered into their monthly in-store credit giveaway. And if you want to check these wheels and tires out, you can find them in the description of this video. So, uh, starting off, are we going to see if that engine runs before we bolt it on? Heck no. So we zip-tied the crankcase vent as far back as we could because we got covered in oil and it, it didn't really help at all. And so all of this good stuff is a combination of mud, dirt, and oil. It even smells neglected. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Oh! Oh man, this thing smells old. Yeah, exactly, it smells neglected. Yeah. This is terrible. Can't get the box end on it. You can't? Nope. Can I have it on? No. Probably gonna be an eight. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> there, there. Are we ready? I think we are ready. All right, time to do the engine neck to me. Oh, nice, nice, bam. I'll turn on the water. Okay. So tell me, John. Yes. Why are we changing these wheels and tires out? They look perfect. Well, because these look perfecter is why. Oh, more perfecter. I gotcha, man. They, they are definitely more aggressive. Yeah. These are the racing style wheels. Uh, and in order to make them work on something with this type of spindle, which you'll see in a minute, you need uh, these hubs with these high speed bearings. So you just go in right there. And it's like a quarter by 28 bolt. It should come with hardware. And it's pretty easy bolt on. So we have no history on this engine. It looks good, but we're just gonna keep our fingers crossed on it uh, actually working. Dude, now that we cleaned the uh, go-kart, I mean, that engine looks so nice and fresh, like, we're doing good here. Yeah, we're doing good. Absolutely. You lost a nut. Oh no. 
what was that? We got our spacers installed, and now this wheel should go on seamlessly. Yes. It's important to note that with this style wheel and spindle, you don't crank down on the spindle nut because you'll just crush the bearing. So you want to go until there's just a little bit of play with the wheel, so I can go a little bit more. Now, important note on these belts, I'm sure we've gone over this repeatedly, but you might be a new viewer. These belts have a tapered one side and a flat other side. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. This part of the pulley's flat, this part of the pulley's flat, that one is tapered. So we're gonna put it on just like that. And this part of the pulley is tapered, so it'll match the belt. Next thing is we're not even going to bother checking to see if this thing runs with this carburetor on it because I'm not a big fan of the carburetors on this, these uh, Tecumseh's. Seems like every single one I have, every time you hit a bump, bet, 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 bet. exactly. But when you put a McCuny 22 on these things, you bypass the governor, which is probably a terrible idea, and it just seems to give it a whole lot more performance. It gets really fast. <laughs> yeah, it does. So we're going straight from this to the McCuny off of the, oh man. That McCoonie is... Yeah, you gotta clean that sucker up. I'm gonna have to clean that sucker up. So anyhow, I'm gonna begin by removing the cover and removing the carburetor. Man, it's a good looking old air filter. What? What? No! No! Okay, why is it every time we think this is gonna be an easy job, it's not? That is one of those funky axles I've seen at Go Power Sports, okay. but never encountered before. That is a special axle. That's pretty weird. So I pulled the carburetor off the old Tecumseh, and I'm gonna install it on this engine. But first I gotta pull this carburetor off. We have the crankcase vent right there, and we have a fuel line here, and we're about to see if there's some fuel in it. I'm gonna say there's fuel in it. Okay. Oh, got a. Oh, there's not a whole lot. Hi, buddy. How's it going? What's up, homies? I got some keys. Well, we ran into some difficulty, but we overcame it. Maybe. We have one wheel on. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, uh, occasionally we've seen... Go ahead and rotate that wheel for me. Occasionally, we run into a uh, hexagonal. I don't know what they're called. Or it might be octagonal. I don't know. Anyway, basically a squared off um, axle. And we didn't have the right hub to put on it. So for science, you know, so we can for share testing, information with everyone at home. Testing purposes. Yeah, testing purposes only. You should definitely change the axle. <laughs> we uh, ground a keyway in it, and we're gonna throw on this uh, round hub. And then, and then we'll ask Go Power Sports if they have those hubs that fit the octagonal or whatever these axles are. There's another name for it, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure, but um. Anyway, yeah, so not ideal. Nah, don't do what we do. At all, yeah. I didn't feel so bad about it until I tried to say it. and then It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, pretty terrible. It'll be fine. So we're going to see how well it holds up. For science. For science. Oh, it's full, and the oil does not look too bad. 
So now I'm going to put some uh, gasoline in it. And we're going to try to crank this thing up. So I'm very happy with the way this thing sounds. We, we had no idea where this motor came from. There's no telling, but it sounds fantastic. So once John gets back from the store with the sockets, we can get the axles or the, get the wheels bolted on and we can take her for a rip. Can't wait. Oh, that's pretty tight, man. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Got him. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I got it! Feels about the same? Yeah. I guess I'm just used to really crazy stuff now. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Are you ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Okay. Well, how did you feel about that lap, bud? Uh, not good. I, the, you know, the air filter might be clogged up. Well, do you want to try to unclog it and give it another shot? Oh, we can do that. So it felt down on power, so we got this brand new filter. Link in the description. We're going to put it on and see if it runs a better time. I think it will. Yep. Me too. All right, man, on your mark, get set, go. I don't know, dude. I don't know, he sounds close and he's at one minute, so might be pretty fast. That's a fast lap right there, guys. How'd you feel about that? I felt pretty good about that. Yeah, that was a pretty quick lap, bud. Was it? Not bad. I never let off the gas. Excellent. <laughs> well, now I know what to do. <laughs> well, I did let off at the crossing. Okay. Yeah. All so, right, so... uh, what, what? How many seconds difference was it between my first lap? <laughs> Almost 15. Really? Yes. <laughs> Dude, it felt okay before it was ba 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 ba. You know, this time it was smooth sailing, like butter. Excellent. Yeah. Well, let me get in there, dude. You're gonna love it. Good. Ready? Do I think he's gonna be faster than me? No. Here's here's my secret. Not much of a secret, everybody knows. I got two runs on that one. So he doesn't know what to expect. Alright. Oh, <laughs> ah, <what? laughs> <laughs> ah, wow. I wish I was that vocal. Alright. Was he was he faster than me? Dang it! I hope I was faster than you, because honestly, that was fun, but it's not fun just like... Oh, you got... Completely you got wet. drenched. <laughs> completely drenched. 
Yeah. All right. So does Joel call it now, or or we go inside? Um. So, Joel, can you screen or show Ike my time? Yeah. And then go into screenshots and show. Well, I already told them who's faster. Oh, what the deuce, man! I had to know. What? <laughs> I had to know, buddy. Hey, it's all right. I, I on camera I said I'm gonna be fa five seconds faster than him. Were you five seconds faster? No. All right, then who's faster? He told me. Oh, sweet! I was two seconds faster. Yeah. Two seconds faster. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Makes sense. You're lighter. Okay, let's strap 40 pounds of this thing and see how I'll do. I mean... Nah, that's alright. So, now that you're wet, you know we're going to do the off-road course. <sighs> yeah, go ahead and fire me up, dude. Ah! <laughs> he didn't want to do it. <laughs> let's just get this over with. Alright, make sure you buckle up, buddy. Yeah, I didn't buckle up and I was like almost thrown out of this thing. I'm just afraid of snakes, honestly. I would be too. And critters. Yeah. Let me know how it goes. I think he started early. Oh, Lord. I'm so glad he's going first, dude. I'm glad it's not me. Oh, thing, thing came off. That's not just the business. You okay back there? Yeah, I'm fine. Is the cart okay? Yeah. Do I, do you need some assistance? No. All right, guys. What happened was I got so excited to get this thing together. Somehow or another, the sprocket is not lined up with the uh, torque converter anymore. So it's uh, chunk chains. So I guess now's a great time to uh, take it back into the shop and uh, fix that problem. On your mark, get set, go. That sounded wet. That was epic. That is nothing but swamp. Are you good, man? It yeah. looked really cool for what it's worth. Um, that really slowed me down. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, you, you lost a lot of time right there just because it's more grown right up. There. It's nothing but swamp there. It's like that deep. You're already yes! faster. Already faster. Yes! I think I can do better. All right, let's do it one more time. All right, man, are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. So on the Grand Course, the upgraded Dingo ran a 112.27, and that's a wet lap, and that was with yours truly piloting the vehicle, which is honestly very fast. Faster than the Monster Moto 228, but slower than our Scrambler 228. Um, Isaac had a scorching lap on the off-road course, which puts it right on the heels of the MB200-1, which has like a stage 3 196 making a whole bunch of power. That was our fastest mini bike for a long time. I just think that because it's a short course, I think four wheels, something more nimble like the Dingo is better. Um, and also, it was about a little less than four seconds faster than uh, the Dingo with the old engine and the stock wheels and tires. Wow, that's, that's, that's crazy. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, um, I feel like those tires helped a lot. Uh, and I don't know, maybe the engine 
since it doesn't have so much uh, blow by, maybe it has a little bit more power more to, to the tires to deliver the, the uh, yeah. <laughs> crankcase bank. Yeah. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Yeah, the Dingo just continues to kick butt, man. I, it's one of my favorite go karts just because it's just so lightweight. It is easy to maneuver, easy to move around, easy to put in the back of a truck. It just scampers over all kinds of rough terrain. It is a rough ride, but you got a smile on your face the whole time. So I recommend everyone out there find a dingo if you can get your hands on one. And if you want to upgrade it like we did, visit gopowersports.com or using links in the description of this video. And anytime you place an order on the website, let them know Cars and Cameras sent you to get entered, enter their monthly in-store credit giveaway. Um, Ike, you got any final thoughts, man? You ready to shower? I am so ready to shower. <laughs> but before I get to that, check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine. Like true fact. I'm traveling from Texas to North Carolina. I'll stop off at a rest stop and I see one of these fellas on a tree eating the bark off of a tree and it was like two foot long. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not kidding. These guys get humongous. You should keep them as your own. Well, what, what upsets me is like the Guinness Book of World Re Records Yeah. only had one down as a foot and so many inches. Man, so you could. So I could have been in the Guinness Book of World Records. Measure your millipedes, folks. Yeah. I'm going to let this guy outside. Good idea. Because, uh, man, he's cool. Man, that's a lot of legs. Be free. You're going to love it here. <laughs>